How do you sell yourself when it's a seller's market? You have to sell your photos, your virtual tours, your aerial photos, whatever else you offer as a real estate photographer. Your videos, these are all important to run your business. But out there, homes are selling quick. It's a seller's market. Sellers are getting top dollar, they're getting multiple bids, multiple offers. Think of your realtor. You want sellers. You have the right seller, the right house for the right price, it's basically gone the next day. Yes, gone in hours, days, not months. Do realtors want buyers? Well, buyers are looking in certain areas and when a listing comes up, it's quick. You have to look at it, you have to make a decision, you have to put an offer, and in most cases, if it's a good one, it's over ask price. So that's a seller's market. How do you, the real estate photographer, market yourself? Same thing, think you're a realtor. Hey, it's seller's market. Why do I have to spend money on a real estate photographer? I'll just go shoot it on my iPhone. Well, you have to sell yourselves, your photos. Your photos are very important. When people are looking at homes, that's the first thing they look at is those photos. So if they look great, it's getting the viewer in there and wanting that home. They want to, you want them to fall in love with that home. So photos are extremely important. That's number one. It helps sell the home. It helps sell it faster for more money and get more offers. That's how you sell yourself to the realtor and that's how the realtor sells themselves to the homeowner, the client. It's part of their branding, how they are marketing the person's home to make sure they get the most money and everybody is happy. Aerial photos. I sell a lot of aerial photos. Over half of my shoots are aerial. So first of all, make sure you find that right price. I add it on to an existing shoot, keep it cheaper and sell quite a few. Do all homes need aerials? Heck no, but you have to know how to sell it. You want the front of the house, the back of the house, top down. The next important shot lots of real estate photographers don't think about is the neighborhood shot. Tie that house into the neighborhood. Think about where it is in proximity to a school, a park, maybe it's the university, the river, whatever feature will help sell that house. Some houses actually need that aerial, that's that extra boost to sell it so they understand the neighborhood. Next, virtual tours. Virtual tours, do realtors want to spend extra money on it? Maybe not, but let them know that a virtual tour allows people to get into that house and view it. And I use iGuide iGuide also has a floor plan, so you really understand that house, the layout. And with a virtual tour, you can't hide much, so you can go around, zoom in, look at different things. Unlike when you do photos, you can pick angles. You don't have to show certain things or make it better and more appealing. So that gets more people. My dentist last year, she was looking for a house. Well, she's a dentist. She's busy all day. She is working. These houses are coming on the market every day, every morning. She's looking real quick and she has to make a decision quick. If she can go on a virtual tour and spend less than two minutes walking through that home, she physically doesn't have to leave her job. She doesn't have to go to that house and then make a decision. She can make it quick. She knows if she likes that house or loves that house. So she will put in an offer. Maybe it's only five grand over because it's like, oh, I kind of like that one, but maybe she'll fall in love with it and put a bigger offer and more down on that home. Virtual tours get more eyes on that house and possibly more offers. It might be the opposite too. More people might not like that house after it. So it's all up to you, but virtual tours are big. Last is video. Video is something that I offer. Um, something to remember with video. It's a luxury item almost to me um, and my realtors. If you pay extra and it takes extra time. My photos and other products I deliver by the next morning, usually same day. So video it takes 24 to 72 hours depending on you and how long the edit takes for my market i'm finding my realtors are using video for those luxury the top end for our market a million and up is where video sits and my realtors market that video is huge on social media whether facebook instagram reels TikTok. now i have a long form video and a short form video. Short form basically is under one minute. That's the TikTok rule, that's the Instagram reels, and they are huge. They're getting eyes on the house. Yes, it's the luxury market now, but these realtors are using this, are using it as part of their branding for the future. When the market flips or gets worse, 
this is what they can use. It's like, this is how I was marketing when things I didn't really have to spend, I could have just used my iPhone, but this is how I spend my marketing money to sell your home. So use this to help you sell your products, a real estate photographer, videographer, whatever you are. Sell your products to your realtors and help your business grow, help their business grow, help their brand grow, and how a realtor markets themselves to the next client. So that's what's key for a realtor is always finding that next client. They can find that person that wants to sell their home. They see how this realtor uses professional photos. They use eye guide, they use aerials. They use all this ammunition to really market their home and make it stand out from the crowd. I hope this helps you. And if you like it, hit the subscribe button. If you want to know why to use a professional photographer, watch this video and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.